Frost, come on stage. One thousand five hundred and fifty eight. One thousand five hundred and fifty eight. I want you to write that number down. That is the cumulative number of days that I have lived free of doubt, free of fear and free of isolation. Who would like to live free of doubt? Who's ever had doubt before? Yeah, a lot of us. One thousand five hundred and fifty eight. Now that's my number. That's my number of cumulative day ones. Every day is day one. Y'all say day one. Day one. Say it again. Day one. day one. Every day is day one. I'm J.D. Frost. I'm an alcoholic. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a father and I'm a husband. I haven't always been that way. Before, I was a drunk, self-employed, an absent father and husband. You see, addicts, we kind of have this way about us where we self-sabotage. We feel like we don't deserve good. We feel like that we have to live in doubt, that we have to live in fear. You know, I, I believe that all of us have a little bit of addictive tendencies from time to time. We all do. And what, what has helped me is this concept of day one. So you would like to live without fear, right? You'd like to have less isolation, not feel alone. That fear, that story that you're telling yourself, that it's not going to work. That you can't do that. You've never done it before. That's preventing you from moving onward. One day when I walked into my house, it was a regular Saturday. I walked in, shut the door, bam! I turned around. There's my family sitting in the living room. My wife, her parents, and a pastor. As I sat down, I started getting filled with a lot of anger. This is not happening. This is not happening to me. I've been sober for one week. I thought I'd figured it out. I thought I had it in the bag. My wife started reading me a letter She talked about all the things that I had done over the last few years, that some things were going to have to change. I walked into my bedroom. There's five suitcases packed up. I was either going to be sober, going to AA, going to marriage counseling, or I was out. After that happened, my business I didn't think about my business at all. I started to get a little bit of clarity. I became misaligned with my business partner. I ended up letting that business partner go. Probably one of the dumbest decisions I've ever made in my life, the way I did it. Don't do it over the phone while you're at Disney World. When I broke up with that business partner, we lost 16 people in 16 weeks. Every Sunday, I got a phone call about one person leaving, another person leaving. We went from 42 people down to eight people. We had 1,200 clients. We lost 735 clients. I had $500,000 of debt. I went to $2.5 million of debt. As we continued to build the business back over and over and over each day, we started to scale. We started to add a lot of people. As we added more people, I didn't want that to happen again. I didn't want to lose our company again. I didn't want to lose the people that are working so hard. So I started getting full of fear. 
Every single day I was afraid that I was going to fail my team, that I was going to fail my team. One morning I woke up and my worst nightmare happened. I reached over, grabbed the phone, looked at our bank account, it was negative $182,000 on payday. What was I going to do? My worst nightmare had come true. I was going to let all these people down again, just like I had done before. That'll cause you to be a little bit lonely. It'll cause you to have a little less faith in yourself. But during that time, I had this way to fix it. I had this way to fix it every single day, and that's the power of day one. Day one consists of three steps. Daily reminders, daily actions, and daily accountability. Everybody say reminders. reminders. Actions. actions. Accountability. accountability. Accountability, man, I love that word. My daily reminder is this chip. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Do you know there's more to that prayer? Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as the pathway to peace. The pathway to peace. This is my daily reminder. Every day. I know that the hardship that I'm going through and that you will be going through and maybe have been through is the pathway to peace. Daily actions. I started doing what I call the daily ledger. You write down what you're grateful for every day. You write down what your targets are for the day. You write down what will make today great. What will make today great? Being up on stage is making today great. What will make today great? Your power base. Your power base. What's your power base? That's that group of people that's always holding you accountable. Thankfully, now I've got about 30, 30, 35 people that I write down every single day, and they're sitting right here. The daily actions are extremely important. This will help you eliminate the fear. The daily reminder will help you to eliminate the doubt because you'll be reminding yourself every day that I can do it. Hardships are the pathway to peace. The daily accountability has become my favorite part. I no longer have to solve problems by myself. I have accountability. I've got people who care about me. You have people that care about you. You have people that support you, that will be there for you no matter what. Those three things are what day one is. Day one can help you to overcome anything, anything. I have overcome more debt. I have over $30 million of debt. I was talking with the team, uh, with you all yesterday about tax structures. You got to have this mindset to execute those things. Day one, the daily accountability is the key ingredient. And we can do that with each other the rest of this week. We can do that with each other by when you pass each other, I can say, day one, day one, day one. Day one. We want to help you at Croft and Frost with this. We want to help you with these daily reminders, with these daily actions, with that daily accountability. We want you to be a part of our community. And what you can do is you can scan the... QR code that's supposed to be up there, which I think it'll get up there. When you scan that QR code, you're going to get a reminder. You're going to get your own chip that says onward on it. You're going to get your own chip. You're going to get a list of what the daily actions are that will help you to execute those daily actions every single day. And you're going to be a part of our community every single week where we are holding you accountable and we're reminding you of day one. Every day is day one. It has worked for me, and it will work for you.
because today is day one. <laughs>